just uh, still messing around with some 251s from Sonny Rollins. They're just really, really good. Um, I'm surprised I got a lot, a lot of views on my last Sonny Rollins from uh, a little over a week ago. So I thought I'd do another one. The first three phrases we did last time were from the early part of his solo on almost like being in love. Let's just take a look at one um, a little further on into his solo. So we're going to be in the area of E flat major, it's an E flat major scale. And here we go, nice and slow. Okay. So the underlying chords. That's a good one. Uh, let's take a look at this next one, which comes almost immediately after that one. And it's going to be the same three chords, F minor 7 for a measure, B flat 7 for a measure, to E flat major 7, 2, 5, 1. throws me for a loop every time the ending phrase here that's it okay so let me take that second one once more tricky. In some ways it's easier than the, the, uh, the long one, the first one I did last, last time. Let's try it one more time. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put a little video of the uh, transcription down below this video and then I'm also going to have available a PDF in case you want to contact me. Um, I could always email you the PDF. Um, there's a quicker one which is kind of tough here but it's it's um, it's actually when the song moves into C and it's a two, five, one and C. Take it slowly. One, two, So the song has been in E flat. Now we're in C temporarily. One, two. One more time. One, two. Now I'm gonna try it again. first position because it's easier and it's in C. One, two. Then there's an other two five one over those same original chords, F minor. and simple. This, this last phrase here, he's really just, 
he's really just echoing the melody and embellishing a little bit the melody. The chords for this are F minor seven, F sharp diminished, uh, E flat over G, F sharp diminished. It's kind of the ending of his solo. But it's nice to see what he does with it. So it's one, two. Okay, so there's a killer. I just like the symmetry of this uh, lick that he does on B flat seven. So. Staying away from the melody, because the melody is the melody. I had another video on that uh, a while back. But if you look at this, the very last, um, I guess it's six bars of his solo. It's two, five again. So the only difference here is we're going from F minor 7 for 4, B flat 7 for 4, E flat for 4, G minor for 2 beats, C7 for 2 beats, F minor 7 for 2 beats, B flat 7 for 2 beats. But it's nice. So for F minor 7, and here's the B flat 7 lick that I like. It's something you could just throw into a blues anytime you're hitting a B flat 7. Of course, you could move it into all 12 keys. But here it is. Okay, so that's a little bit more on Sonny Rollins. Um, just kind of play through them maybe one more time. The first one that we had. Then in his solo, you go about skip over another measure and you've got the same chords, different line. I always mess that one up. You can always rewind and watch when I played it correctly. Then when a tempo road goes into C major, D minor 7, G7, C major 7. Okay. Then we tried another. So that's a 2 5 1 in E flat. Toward the very end of his solo. Something like that. Hopefully Sonny's not watching this. Um, but I find it stretching me a little bit. My, my limitations technically and my limitations sight reading wise. Uh, what I should be doing is listening to him a lot more. Just this little chunk. Keep listening to it over and over and over again on a loop. And then try to play it. Anyway, hope you got something out of it. More on Sonny Rollins. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Appreciate you watching. Keep playing and have a great day.